Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome down to 34 Je or 34 only on Red FM English RTM Sarawak. And uh, we are now live, coming live to you on our Facebook. And you can see very smiling and showing off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. And uh, well, when uh, Barry, uh, welcome to our studio on Hello. Mini Conti. Okay, the podcast industry has uh, grown. Uh, astronomically globally okay drawing more people in towards audio content yep. and its popularity uh, took off during the height of covid era and spotify reported that podcast content consumption on the platform doubled during the first three months of the pandemic yep. and the ability to listen to podcasts while doing uh, chores uh, cooking and driving uh, creates an immense amount of flexibility for listeners so in short podcasts or uh, vodcast the cousin format of uh, of the podcasts are convenient time efficient and content without borders that are accessible to anyone first let us hear from the man behind uh, the Barry Anak Barin podcast. Hello. Who are you and why podcast? And are podcasts still a thing? Okay, hi. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Barry Barim. I am, my name is Barry Barim. I am 31 years old. I run the podcast since November of 2021. Uh, it's been a beautiful journey for three years. And uh, why podcasting is because I believe that everyone has stories to tell. And I believe that when people have stories to tell, some stories are very motivated mm -hmm. and inspiring. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why I feel like I should have this recorded. Because before I start my podcast, I've been talking to a lot of people. I've been listening to many, many inspiring stories. But unfortunately, I could not have it recorded. One uh, mm -hmm. sharing that I could share is that my late grandfather used to tell about his stories when he first brought in the Christianity into my kampong. Right. But I didn't have the chance to record it because one, I was still young. And number two, I didn't think of recording it. Mm -hmm. But now, after a few years of reflecting, if I could turn back time, that is one of the things that I should do. Right. But I couldn't do it with my grandpa, but no worries. I could interview other people, uh, Kuchingites, Sorkians, interview them about what their thoughts about their lives and right. their stories and have it recorded. Yeah. Right. So you think a podcast is still a thing? Oh, now? right. Yeah, I missed the question. Uh, yes. No worries. Uh, podcast is still a thing. Uh, mm -hmm. In Sarawak, in Kuching, especially, it is still growing. Uh, we have seen a few channels right now in Kuching. Mm -hmm. uh, I won't name a few, but I am one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, in Malaysia, you could see uh, Kluas Kerja Podcast. Uh, a lot of podcast channels in uh, West Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then in Singapore, the podcasting scene in Singapore is wide to a point where I have made a few friends from Singapore and Sabah, mm -hmm. Kinabalu Podcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, these people, I have shared my experience with them and that's how we mingle around, we share our experiences. And I have listeners from Singapore, from KK, from KL as well, as mm -hmm. far as Australia and um, United States. Yeah. As far as uh, the USA? Yes, it's borderless. You can go anywhere with podcasts. So yeah, that's why I love about this podcasting scene. Right, yes. right. So you started back in, now it has been like what, two, three years? Almost there, three years. Three uh, years. Almost three years. Uh, started in November 2021. I have okay. about a few more months to November 2024. Right, so how many uh, guests that have you interviewed? I have invited 44 guests. Uh, each episode, I have one guest. So now I have 44 episodes, so it's uh, one guest per episode, mm -hmm. sometimes two. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's growing mm -hmm. steadily. Growing steadily. <laughs> yeah. So your podcast also vodcast, yeah. um, vodcast yes, on Spotify, on YouTube. Yeah. And Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Yes, correct. Okay, right now. Understanding Sarawak mm. you know, has never been more vital or more challenging. Yeah. So your podcast channel brings up close and personal conversations featuring topics from entertainment, Correct. pop culture and the arts. So mm -hmm. do podcasts able to be the catalyst for Sarawak's creative content industry? Okay, if so, a key, a key question here is what are you seeking to change right. 
or what is the intended outcome, Barry? All right. Okay. So previously, before podcasting happens, uh, we rely on traditional media such mm-hmm. as radio, mm-hmm. TV, newspaper, mm-hmm. and it's all limited because uh, if you want to talk about news or you want to have it recorded, you have to come to the broadcasting channels and tell them, "Hey, I have stories to tell." Mm-hmm. But for podcasting, anyone can tell the stories. And for my channel, the Brain mm-hmm. of Brain podcast, mm-hmm. I always highlight stories of Srotkin's story of Kuchinites, uh, the struggles of how they are. For example, I've interviewed a makeup artist mm-hmm. and I asked her about the highs and lows, the ups and downs of her starting a, a makeup scene and how it is today. Mm-hmm. And then I've also encountered stories that people rarely share or they are shy to share on traditional medias because some things are too sensitive to be talked about. Mm-hmm. Some... Mm-hmm. Uh, some listeners or viewers might find it too sensitive, so they are very comfortable in sharing it to my podcast. Mm-hmm. And um, to narrow it down to the Sarawak scene, I mm-hmm. believe that it can bring another variety of media scene in Sarawak. Mm-hmm. I mean, before this, we rely on the traditional ones. And now we have podcasts, mm-hmm. so it adds another variety of the media platforms here in Sarawak and in Kuching. Yeah, and you yeah. mentioned earlier about, you know, it's a borderless. Yes, correct. Yeah, even though we are located here in Kuching, yep. in Sarawak, in Malaysia, but, you know, your content, your podcast actually, um, you know, spread all over the world, correct. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, okay, another breed of podcast that is turning the spotlight on mental health mm. and well-being issues of people in Sarawak particular, mm. particularly after the pandemic. So, yep. um for the next episode of Barry Anak Barim podcast, do you think you will be able to speak openly and honestly about mental health with your guests on your podcast channel? Mm, beautiful question. Because mental mm-hmm. scene, sorry, mental health, mm-hmm. it was something that people would try to talk about many, many years ago mm-hmm. until the pandemic happened where people would openly talk about mental health scene. And uh, when it comes to Sarawak, we can see the high rise of the... Uh, the data of how mental health is growing in the Sarawak. Mm-hmm. And uh, to answer your question, yes, I do intend to bring a few mental health therapists to talk about the mental health here in Sarawak. How has it been, uh, how has it uh, been around in our society? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I do wish that I can bring a therapist to talk about the mental health right, and right. Uh, to improve one's mental health being and uh it's still in the works, to be honest, mm-hmm. because as of now, I've talked to a few therapists, but time is not in our side. So, it, yeah, just wait for the updates on my channel. Yeah. So are you looking at this year? Please give us some, some, uh, some, you know, like uh, teaser, like a sneak peek. Yeah, probably this year. I right. can't tell you when yet because right. I have not talked to my therapist yet, yes. but uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay, and uh, podcasting is a popular and powerful channel for content creation. Yep. So, but it also comes with its own challenges and opportunities. So how do you stay in uh, top of your podcast game? Right. How do I stay in my podcasting game? Is that mm-hmm. I always listen to other podcasters. Mm-hmm. Klaus Kejap is one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, Let's Go is another one from Singapore. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes I do listen to Kinabalu Podcast, uh, My Luster at Work, some of these names from Singapore mm-hmm. and uh, Sabah. I do listen to these people because I get inspired to listen to their podcast. Mm-hmm. And also by listening to their podcast, I can learn a thing or two on how to be better in my game as a podcaster. Mm-hmm. And also everyday communications, you know, com- everyday conversations, mm-hmm. like conversations that you and I had had earlier on or probably mm-hmm. the past few months and then I right. can con- contribute it to my conversation with right. my guests. Right. And right. that's how I stay in the game. Yeah. Right, that's how you stay in the game. Yeah. And uh, and how that you can actually keep your podcast fresh, engaging Correct. and relevant Correct. in a crowded and competitive market. Yes, definitely. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, I'm going to quickly share here, uh, if you see on our Facebook page, Let It Be Heard. And that was, uh, um, uh, can you share with us your, your experience being interviewed by uh news reporter right. and it's on the, our local uh, newspaper that is News Straw Tribune. Yeah. Share with us, Barry. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to credit my friend Neville who mm-hmm. was the writer for the uh, write-up for the article. Right. Uh, it was, first of all, to be honest, I am I am pleased that my, my hard work has been recognized by people mm-hmm. and how he has approached me to write an article about my podcast, the mm-hmm. ups and downs, the highs and lows of doing podcasting. Right, right. And to get that sort of recognition, it shows that, oh, finally my hard work 
is being paid off. Mm -hmm. But uh, it doesn't mean that I have one article written about me, I stop, no. It's mm -hmm. another chance for me to grow better and better. And uh, the experience is beautiful. Uh, I've, I've received a lot of feedbacks um, mm -hmm. after people reading the news that, oh, so this is how you start your podcast. So this is how it's doing. Right. So this is how you do it. And mm -hmm. that's my experience. Uh. That's your experience. Yep. Okay, um, share with us quick, you know, quickly, like a, a quickie, I must say, yeah. start guide, a quick start guide, you know, to get started with podcasting in 60 seconds. You only have one minute. Okay, let's go. One minute. Yes. All right. Number one is know your reason why you want to start a podcast. Uh, I've been approached by a few people like, and they will say, hey, Barry, I want to start a podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask them one thing. Mm -hmm. Do you do this for passion or do you do this for money? Because to be honest, we don't get paid for doing this podcast. Right. I don't personally get paid. I don't get monetized by doing podcasts. Mm -hmm. So it is all passion geared. Uh, I, 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 I do this podcast based on passion. Mm -hmm. And this is why I'm still in the game, as you call it just now, because right. it's a passion. And number two, uh, Aside of being passionate, also get to be knowledgeable about your topics. You have to do a lot of research about the the guests that you're going to interview. For example, mm -hmm. you're going to interview a business owner right. or you're going to interview a radio announcer. You have to know about the basics of what they do. Do your homework, your yes. research. Yes, yes, yes. Do your research. And especially I've interviewed Dewi Siriesta and Larry Sapping, yes. uh, beauty pageants. I have right. to understand and study about their career from A to Z. Right. And I also have in, uh, incorporated this to Larry Sapping where I have studied the list of interviews that she has done. Mm -hmm. I've studied this, the questions that have been asked, mm -hmm. but I choose not to answer those because I want to ask different questions right. other than the other interviews that she has done. Right. So after the interview, she has personally given me a feedback saying that, oh, your questions are different than all the interviews that I've done. So that is how uh, you stay different than the other interviews so or the podcast. that is very Anak Barri yes. podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all yeah. right. And uh, we've come to the end. Sorry. Uh, yep, before we need... Uh, um, very sad to say that, you know, we have to end this. Yeah. Uh, it's a very short interview, very but short. despite that um, <laughs> these 34-year, uh, um, you know, uh, it's only for a few minutes. Yeah. I must say less than half an hour yeah. because we have to hand over the studio to our fellow uh, Red FM yep. uh, Chinese. And, uh, well, you, you know, you, you love Paramo. John Mayer and uh, Coldplay. So yeah. I've got Coldplay ready for you. Hi for the weekend. So would you like to uh, do a dedication? All right. Uh, this is for my family members. I know they are listening back at home. Thank you so much for the support they've given to me, to my friends. Look at the camera. Oh, the, the camera. camera. Sorry. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I've been saying that to people, but not to myself. Okay, okay. look at the camera. Yeah. yeah, so I'd like to give a shout out to my family, friends, loved ones. You know who you are. You've been very supportive of my podcast. And I'll continue to share that support uh, can you to share my videos? Can you to give feedbacks? I need that a lot. And uh, for those of you listeners out there, the ladies who are wondering what this podcast about, what sort of things that I talk about, you can go to my YouTube channel and just type Berina Barim. Go to Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and I will um I will accompany you while you're driving. I will accompany you while you're cooking. I will accompany you while you're attending your your apa your chili or whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah these really feed rtm yes yes teman yes. setia anda yes for variety <laughs> thank you so much for listening in and uh, we're going to play you Coldplay and Beyonce and uh, please stay glued and we'll be back for the next 34 year tomorrow with uh, DJ Zach and uh, this is not Kamal signing off for today until then take care Malaysia it's, it's not, not Kamal relevant for variety Oh, angel said 